Here at home, the Economic Development Board says it remains optimistic about the growth of the interactive and digital media industry and that it will continue to provide good job opportunities. This in spite of yesterday's announcement that game studio LucasArts will be shut down. Lucasfilm says that after evaluating its position in the games market, it has decided to shift LucasArts from an internal development to a licensing model. Industry players are not surprised by the move, saying the writing was on the wall for some time. We've been anticipating changes like this across the industry. So to see LucasArts close the doors for their console development um, is something that you know we could pretty much forecast in terms of major changes in the industry. So most of that is due to the change in the market in the sense that online games and casual games um, and mobile games are taking over the dominance of the console market. Local game developers say they remain largely unaffected as most of them do not develop content for console games. And help is at hand for the 50-some LucasArts game production staff who got laid off. The Economic Development Board owns a stake in Lucasfilm Singapore and it helped the firm establish itself here in 2005. EDB said it will work closely with the company to help find new jobs for those laid off. Industry players believe it might not be too difficult for them to find a new job as their skill sets are transferable. And I also think that um, the prestige that they have like from having worked at LucasArts and like understanding like the pipelines of a big studio, that's definitely very valuable as well and something that the rest of us in the industry can actually learn from. Even with the setback faced by LucasArts, gaming companies here are still upbeat about the growth prospects of the industry. The challenge, they say, is to be adaptable to changes in the environment, at the same time remaining creative and innovative.